The year is 1998, five years after the darkest times in the history of Rwanda. Hope is rising. People are coming back. As this tent is being raised, no one yet knows that a big vision is birthed. This is the story of a church that has made history. A story of devoted people and relentless missionaries whose obedience, hard work, and sacrifice allowed us to be where we are today. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these other things will be added unto you. And God has never stopped the adding. This is our story. This is Christian Life Assembly. Sherry and I moved to Rwanda. We took a big tent. We took a 2,000 seat tent. We had never used a tent before, but we we're going to plant a church there. The tent is still standing there. And though your beginning was small, your latter days will be great. I, uh, my family came to 1994 in December. That's when we moved here to Rwanda. It was very difficult for us uh, hearing the stories of what happened and people coming to us many problems, people were hurt, it was, uh, people were traumatized, it was a very hard situation for us, but we thank God that we were able to come, we could see God working people's lives, God changing people's lives. The humble tent became a home for many, a starting point of a big vision of transformed communities. Uh, my name is uh, Mark, Mark Guamaka, um, and I've been at CLA for 20 years. The first time I heard about CLA um, was in 98. I had gone to visit a cousin of mine um, who also uh, was a member of CLA and uh, is still a member of CLA. Uh, that's Barnabas Ngoga. And um, he told me about the church. He said, you know what, why don't we go together? I think I went through all those trainings that the church was providing and those helped me grow and also be rooted in the church, but also serving. It's unforgettable that we, we, we actually had our, our wedding here. It was uh, <laughs> one of those uh, good moments. And uh, also giving birth from Iranzi. I was able to get a lot of people who were able to get a lot of people who were able to get a lot of people who were able to get a lot of people who were able to get a lot of people cyane kwishyura mitwere sinari kubishobora abana banje nta wigaga ari kubariga rwose nicyo cyambere shimira uyu muryango Through his faithfulness and prayer God enabled us to build an amazing sanctuary in Nyarutarama allowing not only our church to grow but to expand the kingdom of God in Rwanda God put it in our hearts that we were to tell the leadership of the church that we would be getting ready to nationalize. On June 1st of 2004, I joined the Christian Life Assembly as a, a pastor, full-time pastor in the role of associate pastor and served under the leadership of Pastor Command for eight years in that role until 2012, the month of June, when the Commons received a call to transition out to pioneer another work in Burundi. And, and so the torch was handed over to me as the uh, local team leader, and I became the senior pastor of Christian Assembly. 
since the 2nd of June 2012. And uh, it's, it's been an exciting journey. Through various ministries on campus and church planting, the gospel is preached. Through different development projects, the gospel is lived out. The Wellspring Academy allows us to reach out to the youth of Rwanda in the area of education. The Iranzi Clinic helps us to reach out to children and women, while Mercy Ministries reaches out to the vulnerable people in our communities. A vocational training center is under development in Busanza. CLA is a church with a golden past, a vibrant present, and an inspiring future. But above all this, we are a church with a testimony. Yeah.